Antoinette Frank, is a former New Orleans police officer, convicted of the murder of three people. Earlier in her employment, Frank wanted to earn extra money. She was later assigned to do security work with her partner Ronald Williams. Williams was described by the force as a devoted officer. He was married and had two children. They were assigned to do security work at a local Vietnamese restaurant in New Orleans East, known as Kim On. The restaurant was owned by the Vu family. She had apparently gotten real angry lately because the Vu's had started paying Ronald more money. The Vu's had supposedly told Frank one night that they had recently made $25,000 from business. She began plotting a robbery with Rogers. Late on March 4, 1995, both herself and Glacazé ate at the restaurant. They left but later came back after midnight in Frank's police car. Both were armed with a 9mm pistol. That night it was Ronnie's shift to do security. Chao Vu was counting money when she saw Frank walking towards the entrance. Chao sensed something was terribly wrong and immediately hid the money in a microwave in the restaurant's kitchen. Frank entered the restaurant and pushed both Chao and Guac Vu in through the kitchen entrance. Ronnie began following her asking her questions, when La Cause shot him through the spine. When Williams was on his back, La Cause shot him in the head, and again in the spine. He then took his wallet. Frank then checks to see what the gunshots were behind her, giving Chao and Kwok Vu a chance to hide. They hide in a walk-in freezer in the kitchen. Frank eventually corners siblings Ha and Kwong Vu, demanding they tell her where the money was. Ha and Kwong, both on their knees in the kitchen, begin begging Frank to let them live. Frank pistol whips Kwong, and he eventually tells her where the money was put. Frank, satisfied about getting what she came for then fires nine rounds into both Ha and Kuang Vu. Frank and Glakaze leave the restaurant, and she drops him off at an apartment complex. Both killers know that they've left witnesses behind. Being a police officer, Frank heard the 911 call over her police radio saying that an officer was down at the Kim On restaurant, and she returned to the scene acting as a responding officer. Frank parked in the rear and entered the restaurant through the back door. Upon reaching the dining room, she finds that Zhao is waiting for help. When police arrive, she storms out the door and into the arms of police officers. Frank goes outside and identifies herself as a police officer. Zhao tells Frank that she knew what she had done, and explains to police that it was in fact Frank who committed the crimes. Both Zhao and Frank were questioned by officers at different tables in the restaurant. After hearing Zhao's statement, Frank was arrested and charged with three counts of first-degree murder. Rogers was arrested and charged with the murder later on the night. Antoinette Frank was taken to police headquarters, where she received additional questioning and confessed to the crimes along with her accomplice. Antoinette and Rogers were indicted on April 28, 1995. Their trials were eventually severed, and Rogers was tried on July 1995. He was found guilty and sentenced to death. Antoinette's trial would begin on September 5, 1995. The jury returned a guilty verdict on all counts and recommended the death penalty. She was sentenced to death on October 20, 1995, and awaits execution at the Louisiana Correctional Institute for Women, in St. Gabriel, Louisiana. If Frank were to be executed, she would be the first woman to be put to death in the state since 1942. On November 28 of the same year, Tony Jo Henry became the only woman ever to be executed in Louisiana's electric chair.